Hi guys, Ann here, and today we have a get ready with me. I am testing out the Jeffree Star A Beauty Killer 2 palettes, and believe me, I have a lot of thoughts and opinions on that. And I also talk about after me having my mild heart attack and having this stat put in, I went through like a really bad depression. I, I haven't had that bad of a depression where I was just crying and feeling bad for myself and then I was angry with myself, but then it came out on a positive note. So if you're interested to see me trying on the Beauty 2 Killer palette, here are my thoughts and opinions because trust me, you know how I am. I have some. And um, also hearing about what I've been dealing with and the positive things that are going to go on that's going to change up this channel that I really think you're going to like and I'm really happy and looking forward to. And just keep on watching. All right. So I have on my eyebrows. I have the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Primer. Love it. It's my favorite. And then I have the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. But I just use that to like set my base. With the Gerard Cosmetics, you do not have to set it. And it can help with the pigment of your eyeshadow. But I use it for a different reason. Because I'm aging and I start, I'm starting to get like those little wrinkles in my my lids, my eyelids, I couldn't think what it was called. So I kind of use it like what it said, like a base, you know, and so it kind of like puts like a canvas. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. So I use it for that. That way it's like all one color and then I just set it. That makes sense. Do you know what I mean? In today's video, we're going to use the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer 2 palette. And uh, I don't know why I got it. It was an impulse buy. Let's just be real. I did also get the Manny MUA, the Lunar Beauty new palette, which I'm very excited. I don't think that one has shipped yet to get that. But um, this is what it looks like. And then when you open her up, it has a mirror. And then that's what she looks like. And it is prettier in person. I'm not going to lie. But the color story, we're going to try to make it work. We are. Um, we're going to see how the formula is, you know, stuff like that. I have my little, what do you call this? You know, what is this called? Switch thing, you know, for your eyeshadow and stuff. So that's what we are going to do. And I decided to apply my makeup on camera because I wanted to talk to you guys. There's a lot of things that's going on on with me, but I also have some really good news too. So I want to share that with you. But I also wanted to share what was going on. And can I just tell you, I bought these new headbands. And I think these are girl sizes because it's a little tight. <laughs> Not, I mean, you can could, you could see here like the little thing. So I don't know how long this is going to last on my head. But uh, I don't know. All right. So I'm going to start with this shade right here. And um, I did get the mirror, the knife. Oh, that is powdery. It has a lot of kick up. Can you see that? That stuff doesn't bother me. So, you know, I got to make sure I shake that puppy out. All right. You don't really see the color too much because it's a it's a light, light beige color. But I just want to see if it had any pigment to it. And it does have very light pigment, you know. But I like this color because it can help me blend other shades do you know what i'm saying so i like that that's in there let me move this box so if you don't know march 30th i had a doctor's appointment and um i was having like not really like chest pains well yeah yes and no but it was more pressure and earlier that month i believe the last video on this channel i was like did i have a heart attack and i did i didn't even know it but um so in 2015, I had one of those um, heart catheterization things that they go in your groin and they put dye and it's a camera that goes into your heart to see if you have any blocked arteries because I'm diabetic. I didn't always take care of myself. Um, you know, I just had a lot of health issues and I had one artery with that was 30% blocked. So that was seven years ago and they don't really do anything to you about 70% blocked. So... I always had like issues, you know what I'm saying? But the month of March, okay, last month is when it really got bad. And 
my blood pressure was just out of control. It was like 200 and something over a hundred and something. My pulse was, I mean, the one day my pulse was 129. And even though I took my medicine and everything, I could not get it. And then sometimes my blood pressure would be low. Sometimes it would be normal. Then I'd wake up and it was high. It was really crazy. But what I really noticed is every time I would go up and down the steps, I was gasping for air. Like I would be like, like I did a full workout. Now let's just be real. I am out of shape. But just to go up 13 steps, you, I shouldn't be as out of shape as what I was, if that makes sense. But then when I would sit down, I was fine. I was totally fine, you know, um, or like if I start vacuuming, especially like shampooing, you know, or something like that, I had to like do one room at a time and sit down for a little bit. And I like had trouble breathing and then I would sit down. So it was when I would excurt myself or however you say it, like, you, you know what I mean? If I just did the dishes, I was okay. But one time I bathed my dog. I have a five-year-old pit bull. And, um, you know, just bathing her, like, I had to. I couldn't even clean the bathroom right away. I had to go sit down. If that makes sense. Do you understand what I'm saying? But, like I said, so the month of March, it, it really got bad. And so, the one day I should have went to the doctors. I know stuff like this, I shouldn't be doing my eyeshadow because I haven't got the concept yet of working and talking so let me get to work um i'm going to go in with this pink shade right here what is it called blow up doll and this shade right here is called respect and then the pink is blow up doll i'm gonna go in with a smaller brush yeah it's very very powdery can you see i don't know what you can see but like i said that doesn't bother me i'm just telling you what what i see at first but you get a lot of pigment on there okay so one day, so my, my husband was out, he was still in, in New Jersey, but he was in the, for, he was gone for the weekend on a business meeting. Okay. This is a pretty shade. And I never, it was on a Saturday and I never, ever, ever like when he's away, tell him like if I'm not feeling good or anything like that. Cause I don't want to stress him out while he's away. Right. But I text him cause I took my blood pressure and my pulse was like 129 and I my, ch I had chest pain. Usually I have like, it feels like pressure, but I had like chest pain, uh, not to where it's going to like, you're going to fall on your knee and cry, but you can feel it. It was like a stabbing, but I also had that pressure. But what scared me was I started feeling like acid reflex. I don't know the right terminology for it, but here all the way up. And I was very nauseous. Like I wanted to throw up. So I have these heart pills that I take when I have like bad chest pains, right? I only take it when needed. Okay. And so like I took that. That. And then after about maybe an hour, I start feeling a little bit better, but I still wasn't feeling good. Like if that makes sense. And my husband, all of a sudden within an hour and a half, he was home, you know, and he was like, you want to go to the hospital? I never go to the hospital. I have fear of hospitals. I just don't like them. I have people. It's like, I have PTSD with it from growing up and different things with my mom that I don't like hospitals. And the last time that I went, because I was having chest pains, they literally had me in the waiting room for over five Five hours they didn't do an EKG until I was sitting there for 45 minutes and because it didn't show at that time this was like the month prior uh like I was an active heart attack or anything or I didn't have a prior heart attack at that time uh that's really all that they, they didn't do anything they just gave me IV got my blood pressure down they didn't do any more tests and uh, even though my sugar was out of control, too, that was another thing. My sugar was really, you know, and they just sent me home. So I was like, I don't, I'm not going to the hospital. I'm not for what, you know? So then I had a couple more episodes that month. But so the March 30th, I had a doctor's appointment. Okay. So I go and I'm telling the doctor what's going on. And, you know, he was very concerned and he did an EKG and whatever. He was like, you need to go to the hospital right now. I was not an active heart attack, but whatever he's seen, whatever the case may be. And I was like, no, I'm not going. If I'm not an active heart attack, I'm not going to sit there for five hours again and then to send me home. And he was so concerned. He goes, look, Ann, I'll tell you what, if you promise me that you go, he said, I will call down that hospital. He goes, and I will talk to the ER doctor and I'll have them do tests on you and you won't have to sit. That's how concerned I was. He even gave me his own personal cell phone number so I can text him when I was on my way to the to the hospital so he can call. They don't make doctors like that no more. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. Sorry, guys, but this is very, because I haven't really talked about this yet online, you know? 
So I um, didn't get to the hospital. Now my doctor's appointment was like one, two o'clock. I can't remember something like that. And uh, <laughs> I didn't get to the hospital till like around six, six thirty. You know, I want to make sure that my kids had dinner made, all that. I know it's stupid, stupid because I didn't take it serious. Like I never do. Well, I packed a bag just in case they were going to keep me because he told me so. I'm going to try to get them to keep you so they can run tests, th things like that. Okay. So I get to the ER and as soon as I get there, when I said my name, like literally they put that band on you and like what you're allergic to. And they took me back to the ER, like the rooms in the ER, you know, not like where you go in the waiting room. And so I'm talking to a bunch of doctors and they're like, yeah, we talked to your doctor. He's concerned about you. Um, and so they ran their own EKG. I was not in active heart attack, but it did show that I did have a mild heart attack. And I'm thinking it was when my pulse was at 129, I'm having all that um, like acid reflux. That is classic sign, guys. And I'm telling you this for awareness. That is classic sign. Women have different signs than men, right? You know, they expect, oh, you have these pain down your shoulder, down your arm. You know, women don't always get that. I had like pain in my shoulder, but it didn't go down my arm. It, and it wasn't a pain. It was more of like, like I felt like I worked out for hours. So like when I was folding my comforter, like I had to like put my arm down the rest because it was tired. I had to have my husband fold. It was like that. So it wasn't a pain, you know, but just other things are classic signs. Going up and down the steps and you can't breathe, shortness of breath when you exert yourself. But then when you sit down, you're okay. That is heart. Okay. I thought it was my lungs. I just thought I was out of shape, but that is classic signs of heart. Okay. Um, and so anyway, but they did a, a ultrasound, an echogram or whatever it's called, but that looked okay. They was like, you know, your heart is pumping. Everything looks okay. Your heart looks fine. And then they put me in a room. They admitted me. Okay. And then the next day, the morning, I couldn't eat or anything after 12 o'clock. They gave me a stress test, which... That is sometimes, that, well, they take pictures of your heart and then they either give you medicine, you know, through an IV or they have you walk on a treadmill. Of course, they gave me the medicine and it's the same thing as like you did like an, I don't know, an hour workout. I have no idea. And make, whatever it does, it contracts and has your, your body thinking you did a workout and they want, and then they take pictures after that to see the difference between how your heart looked when you didn't exercise to after, when it is after you exercise. Well, that's when it came back abnormal. And uh, it was like the artery behind the heart and different things. So they, you have to get a catheterization, whatever it's called, that thing in your groin, and they put dying to see exactly what's going on. But the stress test did show abnormal. So that showed issue of concern. Um, so when the doctor came, you know, after he read the results and everything, he told me and he was like, look, we really need you to get that test done. And he was like, um, but we're going to transfer you to Philly. So I went to Penn Pres Presbyterian. I always call it Penn University. So if I do say that, they changed their name. I don't know how long ago, but they did change it. Um, I always use this like crown brush. And I always, even if it blends really good, I always use that to help blend because I'm lazy and it takes the blending time. So far, everything looks good. The formula feels a little bit different, but it's still okay. Like so far, I haven't had any issues. Like it's not hard to blend or anything like that yet. I'm just going to go in and deepen it up just to see if it's buildable because I'm just testing out the shadows as well, you know, with that same pink shade. So um, that day then, um, they picked me up about 11, 1130. I went ambulance and I went the next day, which was April 1st, April Fool's Day. And um, I guess about 11 o'clock in the morning is when I had that done. Now, they did tell me if you have any blockages that are more than 70 percent, we will put a stent in uh, right then and there. Or if you have any um, like different blockages, or if it looks really bad, they'll do the heart surgery that, you know what I mean? They might, well, no, I'm lying. They will stop everything, wake me up, and then maybe a day or so later, do heart surgery, whatever the case may be. But what they were trying to say to me is we don't know until we go in. So they don't put you completely asleep. Like they gave me medicine to kind of like twilight me, but I can hear everything they were saying. I was awake. I was talking back with them, but I didn't feel a daggone thing. <laughs> 
nothing. And I heard the guy say, okay, well, you're, it's, uh, 99% blockage, we're going to put a stent in. So the one that I told you in 2015, that was um, 30%. Now that was 99%. And then I have an additional blockage with another artery that was at 30%. They don't do anything with 30%. So I only had the one stent put in, they did it right then and there, boom, you know, back in the room. And then the next day I was released and went home. So April 2nd. So I go back, today's April 11th when I'm filming, I go back to my heart doctor, um, April 13th at 145, 145 or 245. And then in another week, I do know I have to start cardiac, cardiac rehab. That's to help build your heart to make it stronger and different things like that. But I'll find out more information when I go on the 30th, you know, I mean 13th, I'm sorry. So that has what was happened to me. <laughs> then April 6th was my birthday. So great birthday present. Now I'm telling you all this for a reason. I'll tell you what I have been dealing with. I have been dealing with some serious depression, guys. I mean, really, really bad. And I don't know, like if, when, if people have heart attacks or they have something traumatic happen to them, like, or what, but it, Everything was hurting my feelings. For instance, family. I'm talking about my blood relatives. Nobody called me yet to this day. You didn't even check up on me. On Facebook, I made a post and I have like family members right on my post, but they still haven't tried to get a hold of me. And if they don't know my number, uh, I have Facebook Messenger. Do you know what I mean? Like nobody has tried. It, 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 it. So that hurt my feelings. Like, do people really care? You know, it's like every little thing. But again, even if they did get a hold of me, I would find a reason to be upset. It's, I deal with depression, bipolar depression, actually, to be exact, you know? And, um, but I haven't felt this depressed in a long time. And then I was like, just angry with myself. Like, look what I did to my health. I was so mad at my mom for many years because she did it to herself. She was so depressed. Didn't want to take her medication. She didn't have to die. Let's just be real. Then I got to the point she was so bad off, you know, it, whatever. And I thought, how selfish is that? That she wasn't fighting for her kids or for her grandkids or whatever. But then I did it. What if I didn't go to the hospital? What if I would have had another heart attack, a big one, and I didn't make it? And I'm only 45. Well, now I'm 46. What my kids experienced so far, they have nobody but me. Nobody in my family Except for like on their own father or whatever, like the ones that have their fathers in their life, like they have nobody but me. I mean, I am married, but I'm talking about like, do you, you know what I mean? It's, you know what I mean, right? It was so selfish. So then there goes the guilt again. <laughs> You know, and I just sat in my room and, I, and then I was mad at myself because I couldn't do the dishes. I, I can't vacuum yet. I can't do a lot, like so much that I'm like just angry with myself. And then I got angry with myself because I was like all these years, I sat there and complained and I didn't do things that I could because you're alive. Every day you wake up, you have another chance to fulfill your dream or to do something or whatever. No, I would just stay home and be depressed. So then I was mad at myself even then. Then I look at it like my kids are grown. My youngest is 17. I could have been a better mother. I could have done things with them. I could like, you know, it, do you know what I mean? Like when you're depressed, it's just like every little thing you just, you're sad about. You know, I could have been a better wife. I could like, I, I, I don't know. All right, I'm going to go into another smaller a brush and uh, let's see what we're going to do. I'm going to go on like this purple shade. And then I'll go on with this deeper shade. And then I think for, because I'm going to try to use as many shades as possible. For my shimmer shade, I'm going to go in with this green and then this lighter one on top. So I can have most of the shades just to try them out. So I'm going to go in with this like purplish gray shade. And just kind of deepen it up. If you hear my, if you hear that scratch, and that's my dog Nala. Um, Pitbulls, uh, especially her, they suffer from a lot of skin um, issues. And now that the weather's changing, she's very itchy. So um, I actually have to take her to the vet so they can give her a shot that they normally give her. Um, but right now, I've just been giving her Benadryl. That's what the vet told me to do. But if, so, if you hear that scratching, I do apologize. I don't want to go too crazy because I have to film for my main channel after this. So. 
<laughs> I want to go too crazy. And I'm going to go in with that brush that I used for the pink and just kind of like try to deepen it. I mean, blend it out. Now let go in the bed. Go ahead, baby. Go in the bed and lay down. She can't see me because of this. I don't usually have my dog with me when I'm filming, but my son went to his girlfriend's house. And so I have her. Go ahead, get on the bed. <laughs> I don't usually allow my dogs on the bed, but I put a special blanket down, so that's why. And now she's happy because I said she can get on the bed. I'm going to go in with this shade here. Am I? No. I'm going to do my shimmer shades. I'm going to go in with this shade here and then this one over here. This shade is called Rebirth. It's a sh like a dark green shimmer shade and this is a lighter green shimmer shade and this is called Guillotine Green Dream. Yeah. Okay. So that's the dark. I don't know if I want to put that dark of a green one. That's the light green. So let's just see. Yeah, that's dark. It looks like a black. Um... I can definitely tell why these shimmer shades are a lot different. If you can see, like I do have fallout from the shimmer shade, which I never had that with Jeffree Star's formula. So this is a little different, the formula. I will tell you that. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the lighter green shade and put it on top because it's a little too dark for my liking. That's what it looks like. It's not as metallic as his shades are. This, this is definitely a different formula. I'm going to go in with my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day. I tell you guys, right, I have 30% off discount code. And I'm going to, like, wet my finger and go in. Yeah, that made it a little bit more metallic-y. But not, it's weird. I usually love his formula. I will clean that up when I'm done. All right, now I'm going to go in with this. It's like a dark blue. Then you also have a black that has some shimmer to it. But I'm going to go in with the dark blue just to see what that looks like. And it does have some pickup. All right, I'm going to clean up my eyes, but I do not like this makeup look. I really, really don't. I don't know. It just looks like patchy. Like, I don't like it. I mean, it could be my application, but I don't think so. It's just extremely powdery. I don't know what you can see, but the, the, I, I'm going to tell you, I would bet my whole paycheck. Um, this is definitely a different formula. You know, like if so, if you don't like this color story, I would not get this palette because it does not perform especially if you never tried any of his products um and then you go to this you're not gonna lie i can't believe he definitely changed up the formula all right so what i'm going to do is uh <laughs> go do the rest of my face and come back and then i'll finish up my eye look and then we'll talk about the good news so we talked about the bad news the negative and then we're going to talk about the good news like i sat down with myself and said okay what can i do to stop this depression to stop the negativity i got a second chance of life and so i came up with some ideas and things that are going to happen to help me out and um it's going to actually change a little bit this content in a good way and i think you guys will be happy so i'll be right back a couple seconds for you and uh probably a while for me because i'm still sore um and i'll be back okay so i'm back i have everything on even my lipstick so all i have to do now is finish my under eye and put mascara on and like color on my waterline but I've really, I just don't like my eye makeup and it's not so much the, it's the color too, but with Jeffree Star Cosmetics, with his shimmers, you get a bit, like you really get, this is in person, it looks almost like a metallic -y matte and maybe I would like it, but because I'm so used to his formula being so much better when I use this, it's like, this is not the typical Jeffree Star formula. Like I said, I'd bet my whole paycheck on that, you know? So, 
anyway, let's just finish the eye look. So I'm going to go in with this pink blow up doll again and just go under the eye. Okay. After I finish the eye look, we'll go in and talk to you about the positive things and the channel changes and everything else. But I just want to hurry up and finish this up. All right. Then I'm going to go in with that deep blue and go under the eye, like right above that pink shade. And just go about a quarter in. I'm going to try this black with the shimmer and see how that looks. Mmm. I'm going to take the one that had the pink one and just kind of blend it a little bit. And then I'm going to put something on the waterline. All right, that's a little bit better. But I blended it. All right, so I don't know. This is Makeup Geek. I don't know if I want to go in with the deep blue or like a turquoise. And I think I'm going to go in with a turquoise. This is the shade Ultramarine. And I'm going to put that on my waterline. All right, so that's how that looks like. I wish I had like maybe a lighter, lighter, a what? A lighter blue. Uh, but we're, we're just going to keep going with it. All right, let me put my, uh, you know, I'm a hashtag natural lash type of gal. So I'm going in with three different mascaras. The um, Tarte Cameras Lash Lights, whatever it's called, um, mascara. I'm going to go with the ABH and then with my Thrive. All right. I am, I don't know what the heck I got going on here. I am all done. So let's get a little close up. And uh, I just don't like my makeup. I really, really don't like it. Ooh, and I got a lot of filming to do. So you'll be seeing this look in a few videos. But anywho, yeah, so my final thoughts, um... If you don't like this color story, and if you are, and if it's the first time trying Jeffree Star's formula, I would not recommend this palette. Um, I just wouldn't recommend this palette anyway, because I know his formula is just so much better. I don't know what he was thinking. I really don't. I mean, probably, and it's just so damn powdery. I mean, look at the pink, and that's what I use for, you know, of course, under the eye. It's just, I mean... It, they, whew, it's just powdery and doesn't blend like the other Jeffree Star formula. And I'm thinking like, if I never tried any of his products and I just tried this, would I like it? I mean, it's not a bad palette. Let's just be real. I've tried a lot worse and it's not bad. It's just not as good as his other ones. Does that make sense? All right, so that's that. If you tried this palette, let me know down below what your thoughts are. What do you think of it? Let me know. All right, so this is what I wanted to tell you. So like I said, I was very depressed and I, every little thing was getting to me. Like, I don't know what it was. Like, I was mad at myself, you know, for not listening and what could have happened. But I have to, like, like I can't keep thinking what could have happened because what could have happened didn't happen, right? And now it's like they didn't fix my problem. They helped my problem. They didn't fix it. I have to fix it with my diet, with controlling my diabetes, my blood pressure, doing what I'm supposed to do, drinking water. Like I said, April 13th, I see my cardiolo cardiologist. Um, then I'll find out then when do I start my cardiac rehab. I'm also going to see a nutritionist. And then April 28th, I see my endocrinologist. And so like, it's coming. It's coming, you know, when I want to lose about 20 pounds. I'm about 156 pounds, and I want to get down to about 140. No lower than 135. You know, I'm five foot three and three quarters, so I don't want to get too skinny because I just don't have the built to be, you know, I look sickly, but I can stand to lose a few pounds. You know what I mean? Especially in my stomach. Having said all this, this mild heart attack and getting a stent put in was actually a blessing in disguise because even though I was depressed and thinking I thought you know what you guys know I share a car with my daughter 
I always say, you know, I'm going to get a car. I'm going to get a car. I can afford the car payments. It's not that we don't have the money, but to get uh, put money down, I feel guilty because there's stuff that has to be done to this house. There's stuff that my children need, even though they're adults. It, I've always been that way. It's like, oh, I can do this. I can pay this bill or get this or redo this or get something, uh, you know, instead of that. And I never put myself first. And I thought, and, and my daughter, I can use my daughter's car whenever I want. My husband has a stick shift, so I don't know how to drive a stick shift. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to get a car. And I was talking to my oldest son and he was like, mom, I'll help you get the down payment, you know? And I think that's what I'm going to do and get a car, just make payments, unless I can find a good car at an auction. Because sometimes you can find really nice cars at an auction. You have to pay full price, but it's like, say that it was possessed for drugs or something like that. You know what I mean? So the cars work or people got towed and they couldn't afford to pick it up. So then they sell it after 30 days. It's considered abandonment. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go on that route. Uh, I don't know if, if I'm going to go to get car payments, go to, I, I don't know, but I am going to get a car this month and then I can put more content out I love car vlogging I'm always doing things well <laughs> when I have a car but it's getting to be nicer out in Jersey and I only live 30 minutes away from the beach from Atlantic City Beach right maybe 40 minutes and it's like why if I get a car I can take you guys to the beach with me I can take you guys places with me I can take you guys to Atlantic City to Ocean City to Wildwood New Jersey I can take you at night to Philly you can see the lights I can take you to New York New York's only two and a half hours away from me I live in South Jersey you know or my everyday life that I can get stuff done where I'm not just sitting in the house and you get more depressed do you know what I'm saying and then I could take you guys with me and put more content out. And then you can see what Jersey looks like, South Jersey. You can see what the boardwalk looks like. You can see all that. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I look at business-wise, let's be real. When I put more content up, what does that mean? Then I make more money because there's more content that will help me pay my car payment. Right? Because I, I kept thinking, like, we still have one daughter that's in college. She finishes next May my stepdaughter and then my son starts college this fall and I keep thinking like college college so why make a car payment and it's like why not why sit home and be depressed when just you know that's my philosophy now do what makes you happy because life is so short you never know when it's your time literally you never know when it's your time and why would I just hold on to this money, not get a car, to get out more where I'm not as depressed, especially when you suffer from depression. Because my son starts college in what, five months? <laughs> I don't know how many months. Do you know what I mean? In August, the end of August. But do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I look at life a lot different. You know, I really, really, truly do. And I'm not going to let people hurt my feelings anymore. If my family doesn't want to be involved in my life or my kid's life, oh, well. I have my husband, I have my children, I have my friends. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm happy. And uh, so yeah, so I will take you guys with me car shopping. Um, if I'm looking at the auction, different things like that. My good friend Lisa, her husband is a mechanic. So anytime I see a car, I'm always like, ask him so-and-so. I won't say his, um, his name, but like, is this a good car? And he looks it up for me and lets me know. He's a blessing too. Lisa's a bless. They're all, bless all my friends are very good to me. But, you know, sometimes friends are better than water. Blood, you know, I say blood is thicker than water. Not all the time, right? I don't know. But yeah, so I wanted to tell you that. And um, I have some more videos coming up. I watched a video that I was so upset about. So upset, like worse than self-taught beauty. And it's about pro-choice and different things. And um, I was very disgusted. So I want to talk about that. So I will film that tomorrow. I have a bunch, uh, not a bunch, but I have a few videos to film on my main channel. But like I said, content will be coming and I will take you car shopping with me and different things so let me know what you think of that do you guys want to go traveling with me let me know down below and that's everything guys please give this video a like it really does help me out or dislike it leave a comment that helps out with engagement that helps me out as well and uh, yeah that's everything because i've done talked your ear off <laughs> stay beautiful stay blessed stay healthy and most importantly always stay you and i will see you in my next video. Bye.